Okay, hello students, I'm back here uh, today. Remember today I in the classroom, we did quite a, a number of problems, not problems like fundamentals and I call it like set one. So in the class we did set one fundamentals to proving trigonometric identities. In this video, I'm going to walk through more examples to get a, get a heads up to, to later classes to complete a real complicated uh, trigonometric identities. So let me begin with the first one. Here, the first one is you can fairly see that. So write down in your notebook, make sure you have all these steps uh, written down neatly. So this one, what are we supposed to do is in this set, one, two, three, four, five, three, six problem is most of this we are going to change to uh, the last step we are going to write in, the t in terms of sine and cosine. So let's see, the first one, there's already sine x, you can't do nothing about it. The only thing you can replace can and cot is sine over cosine and cot is cosine over sine. So let's replace that. So the first one is uh, this sine x will remain the same. Replace cosine by sine of x over cosine of x plus and this cosine will replace it by cosine over sine of x. Then, what do we do next? If we are going to use, uh, we are going to use this property. So let me write it here. Is a over b plus c over d. Uh, you can use cross product. So AD multiply A to D plus B times C and then also we need to multiply B and D. So if you see this, which one is A, B, C, D? So let's multiply this sine x. So this is A, so that's like the A. This A will get multiplied right here. So keep the sine x same thing, sine x stays the same. So this will be sine square, sine x multiplied by sine x will be sine square of x. So sine x, so I'm using the green color to show that sine square of x. And then let me use the, the red color for multiplying this to cosine, this cosine multiplied to this cosine. So that is plus, this plus stays the same, cosine square of x. Then divide by uh, cosine x multiplied by this sine x. So I'm going to use this. So this cosine x times the blue color sine x. Okay, now, now next is you can clearly see that sine square by Pythagorean identity sine square plus cosine square that will give you one. So I don't have enough room there, but still let me write it here. So this will be equals sine x times sine square plus cos square is one. So one divided by cosine of x and sine of x. And then you see this is sine x is in the numerator and the denominator. We can cross it out. So, or we can use the distributive commutative property we can use and interchange this sine x over here and this one. So, I'll take this off and write sine x right here. So, it, so you swap sine x and 1 and you get sine x over 1, which is 1 times 1 over cosine. Since the question is asked to write in terms of cosine, I'm going to keep cosine as it is, and that completes the first problem. Look at the second problem. The first thing is we need to know what is this cosine pi by 2. What is this cosine pi by 2? Basically, is 90 degrees. And cosine complements with sine, so we can write reduce this to sine theta because cosine 90 minus theta is 
Andrea so Murieta, have... please report to the front office. Andrea Murieta, please report to the front office. So this sign it has to remain the same. So let's replace this sign, this test, sign theta over cosine theta. And this will change to sine of theta because cosine complements with sine. And we can cross this, this cosine in the numerator crosses out. And what are you left is sine theta. So this is sine of theta minus sine of theta. So this two are just opposite of each other. So that will be zero. So your final answer is in terms of sine. Let's go check this third problem. So again, in this example, at the most, what we can change is replace this. So the sine x stays, this stays the same. In place of 10, change it to sine x over cosine. And second by reciprocal identities is one over cosine. And cosecant is one over sine. Okay, so now, so try to check on what are what are the things we can cross on the numerator. This is over one. This is over one. So there's a sine x in the numerator. This sine x will cross out with this sine x. Then there is a cosine here. This cosine will cross out with this cosine. And what I will left with only is sine of x over cosine of x. Now you can also write this in terms which is same as tan x also. Or the question was. You can you put it in the form of uh, sine and cosine, so we can always write it. This is the end, but still we can write it there. Uh, the trigonometric identities, they may ask you, hey, prove that is the answer, final answer is 10. ten. In this problem, what we have to do is change second. So let's oh now question is do you need to change this to second to one over cosine, sine over ten is sine over cos. We can do that. But is there any trigonometric identity that clicks you? Now watch this at the bottom here. One plus ten square is second square. So in other words, second square minus ten square is one. So what you can do is straight away we can apply that rule. Uh, if we can combine the numerator and the denominator, and how does it work? Look at it. Think that this is like a, a. This is a. This is b. And you can see it's like a, a difference of squares. So we can use a plus b. So this is, this is a minus b and a plus b is a square minus b square. So you just a is the second. So write down second. Second because it is a square because it's a there's a square. So I'm gonna put the square right here. And then minus. 10 square. So, and then divide by second. And you can the second square minus 10 square is 1. So, directly this reduces to 1 over second. And by, and by 1 over second is nothing but cosine of theta. So, that's because if second is 1 over cos, cosine, this is same as writing as uh, cosine theta is 1 over second. So because of the reciprocal identity. Go to the next question. Now, 10. So let's change this, each of these to uh, in, in terms of sine and cos, replace, uh, let's replace 10, this 10, this 10, we'll write it as sine x over cosine of x. Same thing right here. And cosecant square, replace it by one over sine square using the reciprocal identity. So this I'm gonna use uh, blue color. So that is 1 over sine of square of x. And this will be 1 over cosine square of x. 
Now, tip change flip I can use. Uh, what I'm saying is, we can use another rule here is, so if we have A over B, C over D, and use that numerator, denominator, keep the numerator multi times, change the division, change to multiplication D over C. Uh, the numerator is A over B, and denominator C over D becomes D over C. So we'll keep the numerator as it is, so the sign F. This is the numerator. That's the numer. This is the numerator, and this is the denominator. So keep the numer numerator as it is, and flip this uh, one over sine square will be sine square of x divided by one minus again this sine x stays the same, and flip this cosine square over 1. Now, is there anything else we can do? Fix this. What else we can think of is, this cosine is there, but there's no cosine up here, so you can't do nothing here. Uh, but we can multiply, there are two sine here, sine x, sine x, and another sine x. So there are three sine x which multiply itself. So I'm going to write that as that sine of uh, cube of x, this, there are three of them divide by cosine of x and this will be minus sine of x cosine square of x divided by cosine of x okay so so this they both have the same denominator so write the denominator once and combine the numerator that means it's going to be sine cube x minus sine of x cosine square of x. Now what else can we do here? Uh, if I did, I, I could, can I use the undo distributive property you can see this there's a sine here and there's also one of the sine x could be taken out so what stays is you get sine square of x and then minus uh, cosine square of x and so it does not help much but if you keep this that's it you're done uh, just imagine if they oh did they give us the plus sign oh in the beginning beginning i'm so sorry so it was a plus i think we, so there was a plus sign which i missed this is plus and there it goes now it becomes it'll be easy so this becomes plus and that's going to be my pythagorean identity is going to be sine of x times y because this sine square plus cos square is one uh, and then you get uh, cosine of x which you can also write it as tan of x because sine over cosine is tan x. So now in the next group is in the next group here we have another set of problems Starting with problem number seven. So here there is again yet we do the same thing, right? Let's change this again to one over cosine square of x. So this equals uh, this stays the same. Um, this one I'm gonna use this this color. Let's use one over cosine square of x, and this one we can use sine square over cosine square, sine square of x over cosine square. Now I want you to show the shortcut trick. And what is the shortcut trick is, uh, is yeah, let me write it right here. If uh, a divided by c divided by b divided by c, uh, the right way to do is keep chain flip, which is a over c, that's the numerator change, the division changes to multiplication, b over c goes to become c over b, and then what do you see, this c is the same thing, and you are left with a over b. 
So you, we can use this right here. You don't have to write this. You can skip. You can say, hey, that's the C. You just cross it out, and you get it's the same as writing A over B. So can we apply it right here? Look at this. This is a co cosine square of x. This is also cosine square. For the fraction in the numerator and the denominator, both denominators are the same. Look at this and this is the same. So it's like C. This is C is, is cosine square of x. Uh, this is just to, you can skip this step. So what I would do is, this is this cosine square crosses out of it. So what I left with is one over sine square of x plus this one over this sine square of x. Both the denominators are same, so we can write one plus one sine square of x which is 2 over sine square of x and you're done. Then at the bottom, we use the cross product. So if, let me use the marker. So this is the, so this, this one, which is right here, is going to multiply, watch this. This is a trick you have to do. This is multiplied. One time one plus sine x is, is stays the same. Anything multiplied to sine x stays the same. This is a plus sign. And now, this one I'm going to use. So this thing will multiply. It. Oh. So this denominator multiplies the numerator. 1 minus sine x is the same thing. So 1 minus sine x. But be careful. You need to also multiply these two things. That's 1 minus sine x and 1 plus sine x. The numerator is easy to cross out, but we can cross out so let's cross out. This plus this is plus sine x and this goes away. One plus one is two. So that is two. And the denominator is so the numerator is two and the denominator is of the form uh, a plus a minus b a minus. So this is a minus b, and this is a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So it is one squared minus sine squared of x. Uh, using the uh, difference of squared formula, let's write it. It is a minus b, a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So they both are binomi binomial with the same uh, terms like 1 is 1 and sine x sine x the only change is the sine this is minus and that's the plus so you can use that formula but what is 1 minus sine 1 square is 1 and 1 minus sine square by Pythagorean formula so, one minus. so use this sine square plus cosine square is 1 so 1 minus this time it is 1 minus sine square, so 1 minus sine square is cosine square of x. And this is how we are done with that. Check this out. So the only thing, oh, at the most, what can, we, what can we do here is you can, you can write this sine x stays the same, but cot square, cotangent is cosine of x over sine of x but because there is a two square you have to put a square there right this will be minus sine of x over the, you can't do nothing about it that stays the same now what do we do next is uh, next is we can use this as numerator that's the numerator that's the denominator but this is the numerator and that's the denominator Keep the numerator as it is, so sine x stays the same, and flip the denominator. So this is sine square x. So, the so this fraction, this fraction flips, so multiply cosine square over sine square, you just flip it. So this will be, so th this cos, cos square stays the same. Uh, this stays, so you're flipping it. So then, what do we do next is, 
is this this sine x and sine square there are three there are three of them so let me write it this equals sine of cube x divided by cosine square now remember this cosine square is the same thing so this denominator is same so i'm going to write it only once cosine square all right but the numerator is sine x okay well, what else we can do think of there's a sine x and this is sine cube so one uh, th there are three sine x here there's one sine of x so we can use undo distributive property so this is basically is like sine x times one so we can write it as okay pull out sine x so it will be sine x times this will be sine square x minus one because you are pulling out sine x so there were so the, because this is three one of the sine x is pulled out so the two sine x stays there the denominator with cosine square is written as it is question is <laughs> question is can we still uh, it's quite a long one and i don't have enough room but let me see what now one minus sine square remember one minus sine square x is cosine square of but because it is sine square of x uh, minus one so it's the opposite this this becomes cosine square of x negative so we are going to replace this by so i'm going to write this is sine of x and minus because going to be you're flipping it one minus of sine square of x divided by cosine square of x and one minus sine square is cosine square of x so one minus sine square is by pythagorean and you can see uh, and this cosine square this cosine square goes away and you get minus sine of x and you are done so this is how it works quite a lot of steps there but hopefully uh, uh, we get it the next one is we will use the uh, the cross product i hope you guys are okay i just want to complete three more and we are done okay now why this really will help when we do really want to do difficult complicated problems so this helps now watch this there's a denominator there's a one there's one this one and this second x let's let's multiply the use the cross with this thing look at this we're going to multiply it so it's one times one times this whole thing second x plus one this second of x plus one and there's a plus sign and this second of x will multiply to So one time anything is the same thing, so this stays the same. And this will be multiplied, so it's like second x minus one. Okay, and you can see plus one and minus one. This 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 will go away. This will go away. Minus plus one minus one. So you have two of them up there. So two second x plus second is two second of x. But the denominator again a minus b a plus b so difference of square uh, using this a square minus uh, a minus b a plus every time we see we've seen so many times that we are using it so i don't want to write a formula that's a minus b a plus b so you square the first and square the second so one square is one but then what is second square of x minus one Second square of x minus one. What's the second x square minus one is ten square. So we can write it as so. This will be two second of x divided by ten square of x. We can still reduce this to a more uh, lower form because this will be uh, cosine of x. So second is one over cosine. This is sine square over. Uh, cos cosine square of x then keep change flip so this will be 2 over cosine of x times cosine square of x divided by sine square of x and one of the cosine will cross out to this so there are two cosine up there one down and your last final answer is 2 over sine square of x uh -huh. 
So again, a lot of stats. So let me <coughs> reiterate. This one multiply this, then this multiply this, and then the both the denominators are multiplied, and you this crosses out, use the difference of square formula, then comes the Pytha. So then identity is secant square minus one is tan square, change to cosine because secant is one over cosine, tan is sine over cos, cosine, and then you use the mixed fraction, keep change flip, and you get the answer. Now let's move to the So last two problems, at the most, what can we do? The secant can be replaced by, this is the main division line, so sine x stays the same. So what changes is this, secant is one over cosine of x. Minus this stays the same, so you can't do nothing there. And you can use the keep change flip there, where you just multiply, this will be uh, the orange will stay the same and so keep change flip so this is sine x which is sine x is basically the sine x divided by 1 so sine x that will be multiplied by 1 over sine x keep change flip and this stays there sine of x cosine of now how do I combine these two expressions you see the sine x both the cosine x both has denominator cosine of x, but there's a, there's a sin, additional sine x is multiplying. So we need to have a sine x right here too. So you multiply and divide by sine x. Now they are same thing. Both this, these two things are the same thing. So we can write so cosine of x, sine of x, and one times one is one minus sine x is sine sine x multiplied by sine. So there are two of them multiply itself. So we can write it as sine square of x using Pythagorean identity one minus sine square, one minus sine square. So one minus sine square is cosine square. And this is cosine of x. So there are two cosine, one of them will cross out. What stays is cosine of x over sine of x. You're done. Or you can also write it as cotangent of x. And the last one. Again, okay, let's use the cross product. So I will always do this. Sine x times sine x is you are multiplying itself, so it is sine square of x. Plus, now you're, this time you are multiplying one minus sine x and one minus one minus cosine x multiply itself. So we'll have to write one stat here, one minus cosine of x. But then if the blue color, I put it square. So this is the one minus cosine. And the denominator is one minus cosine of x, and then one, and then sine x, right? So you don't have nothing. Okay. Then, <coughs> there is something we have to do here. What is Let's check what is one minus. So there is one minus cosine. We have to simplify this, and for this you need to know a minus b is a whole square, which is a square minus two ab plus b square. What I what I try to uh, last time I've been always telling you you just square the first. See, you just square the first, square the first. Then you will square the last square the second I will say and in between because of the minus you multiply the two and so you multiply this two and then and then double it so it's so easy to do that so what what, I, what is that I'm trying to say is this will be uh, because there is no room here let me write this right here Well, 
Okay, I'm going to write this step. So sine square, this is sine square stays the same. The denominator will remain the same. Okay, now plus, this is what, this is your a, a, a square. So you square the first one, that's like one square. So this will be one square. Square the second one, which is plus cosine square of x. And in between you multiply this to one times cosine is cosine of x and double it. Now because of minus, you have to write minus. So when you one times cosine x and you double it, this cosine is two cosine x. So this will be two cosine of x. Hope that helps. Now rearrange. Watch this. This sine square and this cosine square add up to. So you can see these two things will be adding up to one, right? So I don't even have to write that step. You can use uh, commutative property and get it here. So I'm going to skip that step and straight ahead. Right? That orange color will be one. So this will be plus one minus two cosine of x. The down is one minus cosine of x. But look at this, one plus one is two, so this is two. The denominator stays the same. And you can use the under distribu distributive property like two times. So this two which you see here, this two, this two is two times one. So we can undo this and say, okay, let's pull this out to this two, let's pull it out. So this two is out, pull it out and write one, this one minus cosine of x. And you can clearly see that in the denominator, we already have that one minus cosine x and we can cross this out. So, so what I left with is, is two, and done. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I'm done with this. So there will be 12 problems, a lot of formulas, a lot of Pythagorean identities, co-functions, or even, oh, we didn't use this much for this weekend. And hope this video will help you uh, to really, to, as I said, this was the fundamentals to do the hard problems of proving trigonometric identities. So in the next class, but we'll do a lot of actual hard work. So hope this will help uh, as a get used to sine, cos, tan, cot, tangent, cotangent, one plus tan square, secant square, one plus cot square, cosecant square, see, all these formulas and this. Thank you for watching and continue. Remember practice is the best teacher. I'm just here to guide little up for you. So you have to practice hard and get done. Thank you for watching.